across the Aurora, Colorado, and Aurora, Nebraska, and face up. Limo Bob does not drive a big long limousine. Limo Bob drives. Little Bob drives a little Toyota. <laughs> so when I was a fetus, I used to sneak out of my mom and I had to sleep fall asleep. I used to take stuff because I didn't have any fingerprints yet. I knew I wouldn't get caught. <laughs> so I'm the Lexi. I spell my name. L I M capital O T O capital P. I first realized I was dyslexic a long time ago, way back in Little League Baseball. I was a base runner on third base. I stole second. I got such a good jump, I didn't even have to slide. <laughs> I also got the ADD, the Attention Deficit Disorder. Back then, when I was in school, they didn't have any medication for that. They didn't even diagnose it. But my dad figured things out a little. And so, he had the best therapy for it. What he told me to do, he would get real close to my face, two inches away from my face, and he would say, PAY ATTENTION! It worked every time. So, um, but you know, the, the most disheartening uh, disorder I have, the, the one that's most difficult for me to deal with, is the fact that I am a Kansas City Chiefs football fan. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so much, it hurts so much. <laughs> First round pick. <laughs> I, I told you about the ADD part, right? <laughs> so, um, I had a really great Christmas. Um, I know people that know me, I'm really quiet about my personal life. But, uh, uh, right before Christmas, two weeks before Christmas, I think I met her. She's the one. Um, of course, she looks she looks Oriental, so I think we figured that. Here's the deal. One of her parents is Jewish. The other parent is Chinese, and her name is Shop Bean. And, uh, it's really cool, though. She bought me this sweater. That's the real deal, man. That's not the fake one, that's the real deal. She bought me that, she bought me this uh, silk shirt. Um, you don't think um, she's gonna be, uh, I don't know, a problem in uh, money maintenance, do you? So anyways, like I told you, this was right before Christmas. And, uh, she had, um, well, here's the deal. She has a belly button on it. So now, here's the deal. Shopping has a belly button ring, so Limo Bob has a favorite place to put the missing top. <laughs> <laughs> because like I said, <laughs> So how about the Amendment 64? Are you happy about that? Yeah! Good! All right. Woo! So now, we don't have to blow a joint in our closet anymore. We can actually sit in our lazy boy in the living room. Because you still got to be careful. Because the other day, I uh, uh, scored a bag from an American Indian. And... Uh, <laughs> I got home, I felt that 
old Charlie Thunderhorse just sold me a bad sack of wheel. <laughs> Hey. Oh I gotta go, my boy's at home, alone, and I don't trust him just yet. I get there and there might be dancing ladies in the house and shit. <laughs> so then I have this one friend that is a, uh, a from India, called me over to invite me to a barbecue. I go over there for the barbecue, he serves this tiger meat. Tiger meat, I ate tiger meat. Anybody else ever had tiger meat? I gotta tell you, it's great! <laughs> you know, I come with one conclusion in life. Basically, life is like a shit sandwich. The more bread you have, the less shit you have to eat. But I come to one conclusion. If you do have enough barbecue sauce, that shit tastes pretty good. <laughs> All right, I want to thank you for your time. Have a good one.